Hello everybody, thanks for checking out the video. Today for Toy Shops of Tokyo, we are checking out the Mendarake in Shibuya. This one is distinctive as it is in the center of the earth. You'll see as we walk down some of the artwork on the top there at the entrance. Uh, it's a, it's probably four stories down. It's, it's really buried here. Uh, but before we continue, if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, maybe turn on notifications, I'd really appreciate it. So walking down, you have those strobe lights. Um, you know, you got to be careful walking down these stairs. Uh, a buddy of mine was always falling down. Every time he went down, he would, he'd fall down, fall down the stairs. Uh, so if you ever make it to Tokyo and you come here, um, you know, be a little bit cautious going down those stairs. So here we are. At the entrance, no hamburgers, no cola. So this is different. Um, this was always a display for other things, but here they have um, some new things on display, a lot of Marvel Legends figures. Also that Mondo um, Rick and Morty piece. So as you walk in, uh, you'll see here on the left, there's various Japanese anime inspired um, pieces different manga inspired pieces that's all there on the left and on the right are the different manga now mandarake started as a bookstore um, primarily manga and it has gained more of a reputation with people abroad for its um for its toys so um if you come into the shibuya shop here's some bobby pieces uh, if you come into the shibuya shop you'll see it's really like old school back to the roots you'll see how how thin and narrow a lot of these walking spaces are so making our way this is the toy area it's kind of in the back in the corner some of these soft vinyl pieces in here mixed around I'm going to try to squeeze in here. <laughs> you can see how how thin this little space is. I have to kind of wedge myself past um, this different Gundam and, and Macra stuff over here. But at this point, I kind of realized I am not going to be able to continue on this journey. So I decide, you know what, let's just turn around and hit up a different aisle. So, making our way back out. It's a bit crowded today. It's usually not as crowded. Here's the quarter scale Spider Man from Hot Toys. The DeLorean from Hot Toys. This is the, the first one, the first release from the first Back to the Future. Very tempting. Here's the quarter scale Mando with Grogu. Another quarter scale Spider Man. Yeah, that's very tempting. X plus Godzilla. So this one looks a little bit more navigable. So I'm going to take a look. Um, this one is mostly like mecha stuff and solo Chikokin kind of things. Uh, so making our way down. On the left, it's just really disorganized. That's the stuff that you can handle very easily. Not the more in-demand, not the more expensive stuff that you'll see in the case, as is evident right here. A lot of the Power Ranger, Mass Rider type of figures here. Pieces, accessory pieces, things like that. If you ever do come to Shibuya, if you ever do come to Tokyo and, and you want to hit up some of these stores, they're great for spending, you know, 30 minutes to an hour just kind of walking around and taking things in. Here's some Return of the Jedi, some of the, the mini vehicles, the skiff. There's some of the hot toys, Black Series. A lot of cool stuff. Kotobukiya statues and whatnot 
this Boba Fett. I've I've been tempted to get that. I never picked it up. Um, the toy color one. I'm tempted. There's a figure Watts, Marvel, and Star Wars. Some Snoopy glasses. Snoopy is very popular here in Japan. And some of the more of the um, the Mandalorian and um, Book of Boba Fett stuff. Here's some Terminator. Hot toy stuff. There's a Luke. There's a Kenna Luke. 12 inch scale. It's 8,000 yen, which is, as of today, it's probably um, maybe about $65. It's not so bad. I don't think it comes with anything, but you get your bare bones Luke with the with the clothing. Now this, this is the uh, the fertility idol from Indiana Jones. <laughs> it's a life size. Very tempting. It's it's a bit pricey, but cool nonetheless. There's a Cos Baby set. The Joker. These are Transformers. Uh, usually their Transformers section is a lot bigger. It's been shrinking over the years. Uh, back when Masterpiece used to be a lot more in demand. And Marvel Legends. Some... Hasbro Star Wars going back to the Power of the Force line. What is that? 20 years now? It's crazy how those things have not aged very well, <laughs> I guess. Here's a lot of the monster art stuff. Some Soul of Jokokin mixed in there as well. Ultraman pieces. Godzilla. Some Figma. Now these are the hot toys. Give you an idea of what they have. Pricing here is not bad. Um, most of the stuff is going to be secondhand, but collectors in Japan generally take care of their stuff. And so the prices on the aftermarket, um, all things considered, you can get some pretty good deals if you're in the shop. Some really nice pieces that are reasonable. There's the Venom. There's the first Thanos. So you'll notice this is really where they put their Marvel stuff. And the Star Wars stuff was in the aisle. And then as you move down in this direction, you're going to get into things that are not generally either going to fit over there. You see a Marty McFly, the Anakin. There's the Michael Jackson Hot Toy 2-pack for a pretty reasonable price. I picked that up. I actually picked that up years ago at Mandarake. Some head sculpts. Terminator. That Marvel, uh, Marvel, that Michael Jackson two pack is really, really nice. DX nine. There's another Han Solo. Interesting that they that they put the Han Solos over there. Now you're starting to see Joke is there's a Storm Shadow from the GI Joe movie, the Hot Toys. Uh, it's interesting that you're starting to see a lot of Jokers now that those in-hand reviews are coming in for the Inot Joker. Um, people are, the writing's on the wall. They're, they're starting to get rid of their, their pieces in hopes that they get something back for it before it really plummets. Here's an ad at going for 20,000 yen. So I don't know, maybe 160 bucks. I think I have about eight of those back back in the States, back home in storage. Here's a King Ghidorah Garage Toy X Plus. Those are great. That that line Garage Toy X Plus. The Godzilla. Those are fantastic. They're just really big and they're they're very pricey. There's the first Mecha King Ghidorah. Here's a bad pod, um, very reasonably priced, very tempting as well. But this stuff is kind of the bigger stuff that they just have to kind of put off to the side and 
keep it out of the way as there's so much foot traffic and very little space here. I almost whack one of the staff. But continuing on. So as you move on, um, this is more kind of traditional, not traditional, but kind of old school Japanese pieces. Um, the further down you go, the more you're going to see that. Um, a lot of soft vinyl as a Mazinger Z. When I was a kid, Shogun Warriors was one of my favorite shows. Grandizer, Mazinger Z, Guy King, those are those are amazing. So these are some of the models from the 70s and the 80s that are currently on display. Again, that genre. The boxes are quite nice. So here's the soft vinyl of the Godzilla and um, various monsters. Hedorah. The prices are, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't collect this this type of stuff and i don't really keep up to dates with it i know that there's a lot of people who are really into it but um i guess it's it's based on availability and and how limited they are and some more but there's definitely a market for them for godzilla i'm more into the monster arts and the haya toys what they're doing now these are some of the older pieces i guess they're older not retro um some tin toys from like the 60s and maybe the early 70s tetsujin niju hachigo or gigantor for foreign audi audiences there's a robocop some star wars pieces bruce lee these used to be in the front of the store um, when you walked in where the, they have the Marvel Legends. Uh, now, Astro Boy. So again, more books and Pikachan, Draymond. Some Tomica cars and, and now here we are getting into um, Trading cards. Again, not my forte. I have no idea. But the prices on these things and what they sell for and what they're looking to buy at. Crazy. Like this one. That's, you know, that's 10 grand. That's, that's crazy. 10,000 U.S. And some more. Now this is in front of the elevator. Um, they have some more kind of monsters, Harryhausen stuff, some Star Wars, um, vintage Kenner stuff, and some some of the the later Hasbro stuff as well. This vintage C3PO with the Japanese sticker. So anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. As always, I appreciate it. Everyone take care and be safe.